Residents of Makoko and Shogunro in the Lagos mainland local government area, Lagos State, have resisted the planned demolition of their communities allegedly by the state government through an estate developer. The communities represented by their council, Femi Dodo, rejected alleged plans by FBT Coral Estate Limited to displace its residents. Development should not be against the people. Development should not be to drive away the people and sell the land to the highest bidder, to the rich. A copy of the Memorandum of Understanding between the developer and the three communities and detailed plans on how to displace the residents and develop the land were presented. Femi Dodo, who represented the community and addressed the media, said that what is said to happen to Makoko was similar to what occurred in Otodogbame. In 2017, thousands of people were left homeless after police invaded a riverine community in Lagos, Otodogbame, setting fire to their homes. According to the legal council, what remains of that demolition is a fancy estate known as Perinko Estate. He argued, that if government cannot help to reconstruct the facilities in the community, it has no right to sandfill it or evict its residents, adding that its annual IGR was more than the gross domestic product of five neighboring West African countries. Today, the matter came up and uh, some of the defendants have been evading service in the case of quite full of victims of... Uh, the people living in Makoko, Okwakbon, and Sokuro areas. So today the matter came up, and because of the fact that some of the defendants are evading service, we had to take a further date for application for computer service and for those parties to be served by computer means. And we have always said that the government should develop areas. Nobody is against development. But development should not be against the people. Development should not be to drive away the people and sell the land to the highest bidder, to the rich. The poor too also have the right to live on the earth. That's and when right. you prevent the poor people from breaching, you are calling for anarchy, you are calling for chaos, you are calling for terrorism. And we, we do not want Lagos to become another Borno. We don't want Lagos to become another Medici. And that is why we are coming to court to stop the government from forcefully taking over the land of the people who are even the core indigenous of this state. The people, the legal state is known as a waterland, as a waterlogged state. And the people have been on this place from time immemorial, even before colonization. But unfortunately, their land has been taken away from them, they have been chased into the water. Chase inside the water and even chase out, out of the state. That is why we are saying no to the continued demolition of Egu people's property. And not even only Egu, other demolition, um, anti ethnic attack on people who have come to settle in this state to develop the state. People are free to move. That is why our people migrate to Canada and they become the whole political position in those places. I, I'm surprised we are in black Africa. We are fighting ourselves over the issue of tribe, stopping ourselves from freely moving in Africa, creating borders, boundaries that were created by the colonialists. We are still under colonial and neocolonial rule and we have accepted and we have agreed to fight ourselves and hate ourselves because of because of an idea that has been planted in us. Yeah, we are against this idea. We are saying we are out to stop forceful eviction and forceful takeover of land under the guise of development. Development for the people, not against the people. Development with the people, by the people, and for the people. Thank you very much. Makoko, Makoko, Okwakbo, Soguro, Enidokbepa, Minayura.